local, now. This is the News at 11. Good evening and thanks for joining us. South Carolina law enforcement officers cracking down on DUIs with a campaign called S Sober or Slammer. Now they say they have absolutely no room for drinking and driving. So if you're driving hammered, you're getting nailed. Our Danielle Lawan rode along with the Bluffton County, Bluffton Police Department this evening as they patrolled for drunk drivers. And Danielle, did they catch anyone? It was absolutely crazy. I was in the car tonight with a Bluffton officer for 36 minutes. Within that time, we pulled over three cars, all showing signs of being impaired behind the wheel. The Sober or Slammer campaign doesn't start for another three days, but Bluffton police say it's never too early to make a bust for driving drunk. Tonight, I sat shotgun while Bluffton police tried to do just that. Be in the parking lot of Dollar General. So. All of the drivers showing signs of impairment. The first driver swung too wide while turning. I'm Officer Faye with the Bluffton Police Department. Reason I'm stopping you when you turned on to Pin Oak here, you made a wide turn across the double yellow line. Number two, not being able to maintain speed. The reason I'm stopping you doing 41 in the 30. Are you serious? Yeah. And the third driver couldn't stay in their lane. Imagine there's a straight line in front of you. Put your left foot on that line. Officers conduct a series of tests to see if a driver should be operating a vehicle. I want you to follow the green light with your eyes and your eyes on without moving your head. Do you understand? Yep. Officer Faye says they're told in training one in every 30 drivers are impaired. Over half of the fatalities across the country are related to impaired driving. An average of one alcohol-related fatality every 53 minutes. Pretty much every street in this town, I've been able to locate an impaired driver. I mean, it's, they're, they're everywhere. The Bluffton Police Department has made 181 DUI arrests in 2017 so far. Officer Fay made 112 of those 181 drunk drivers. Those numbers sound steep, but Fay says a lesson learned behind bars is better than one below dirt. If, if it means taking someone to jail for, for DUI, then at least, the, at least they're alive and they haven't killed anyone else, so that's our goal. Well, just so you know, none of the three drivers we pulled over tonight were arrested for DUIs, but police say a life is worth a simple traffic stop. Police also want people to know if you think you're behind a drunk driver, call 911. Give the location and what the vehicle is doing, and an officer will be on the way shortly. Don.